Hey YouTube, Satoshi Matrix here yet again bringing you another video. On this special edition of the Adapter Factor, I thought I'd show you guys one of the coolest adapters I've come across in quite a long time. So this, in case you don't know, is CoinOps, the multiple arcade and console emulator for the original Xbox. This thing is one of the best reasons to still kick around an old Xbox. For If you install um, CoinOps onto a modded Xbox, you can literally put thousands upon thousands of classic and retro arcade and console games and run them in one massive emulator that will run pretty much anything you want. One of the problems that some people have with using CoinOps is the standard Xbox controller. The Xbox controller is not that ideal for many of these classic games because they were not intended to use um, this classic controller. The thumbsticks work okay, but using the D-pad on the Xbox is really not that ideal. So, a brilliant Brazilian modder named Bruno Freitas has come up with a novel solution with what he dubs the retro pad. This little adapter plugs into the Xbox via USB connection and throughout the other end comes uh, an adapter that allows you to use pretty much any classic game controller you wish. Anything from the NES all the way up to the PlayStation 2. Now I'm going to show you how this works. So point the camera at my Xbox. When you natively buy this adapter, um, it doesn't come with any sort of adapter um, to plug into the system. For that, you will need a standard USB connection with the Type B um, end. So you'll need this kind of cable that has the square head and the normal USB cable. Now, of course, this plugs into the, the adapter, but this will, will not plug into the Xbox because it's normal USB and the Xbox takes proprietary USB. So for that, you'll need some sort of USB to Xbox adapter. Now this is one that I happen to have. Um, I got this a few years ago. You can pick these up on eBay for about $5 or so, so you'll have to spend a little bit more if you, after you buy this adapter, um, but it's not that bad. So I'm going to show you how it works. First thing, you plug it in like that. That's, that's the USB to the Xbox. Next, take the adapter, plug it in like that. And now we're going to plug this into the Xbox. So move the camera down a little bit. Just like this. There we go. Lit up. You can see that. Now, let's uh, let's select a game in CoinOps here. Let's get out of the menu. First things first, I'll show you perhaps um, a Sega Genesis controller or a Sega Genesis game. So let's go to what's listed as Mega Drive. So here's Sonic 3 and Knuckles. So take the regular Xbox controller and press A. camera back a little bit. Mega. Now you can see here I'm using the Xbox. This is this is of course the Xbox. Oh whoops, it's not plugged in because it's got controller port one. My bad. Let's just change that. Okay, there we go. Xbox controller with Sonic 3 and Sonic and & Knuckles. So this is the typical experience you'd get. Try and move with the analog stick, yeah it's okay. Move with the D-pad, yeah same thing, right? But let's not use this controller. Let's use something better. How about using this controller? A three button Genesis pad. So, to use this adapter, you simply take its Sega end, come here, you'll see that notice this is a DB9 connection. Take that, plug that in, and now, when this is plugged into the Xbox, now 
you take this controller, and that is connected to the uh, to the adapter through the Xbox. No trickery. And let's try and play Sonic 3 with the original controller it was intended for. You get the point. Sega controller on the Xbox. But let's get out of this and let's try something else. Because Se coin ups is more than just Sega, of course. Let's go to its bitter rival, the Super Nintendo. NES, N64, SNES is what I'm looking for. Here we go. Um, let's do Donkey Kong Country 2. So again, do that. And this time, let's not play the SNES with the three-button Genesis pad. Let's unplug this, unplug the adapter, and then let's take the, the retro port, or the retro pad, I should say, and plug in one of the mini adapters that Bruno sells along with it. Now for $10 more, you can get this adapter here, which adapts the controller from um, the DB9 pin to an SNES 7 pin. So with this, you can use any standard Super Nintendo or Super Famicom controller on the Xbox. So let's show this in action. Take the controller into the adapter, Plug that in, like that. Then on the other end, you'll have this kind of cord. Plug that into the retro pad here. And you can secure it in place, um, but there's really no need to. Um, that's what these screws are for, just stand like a standard PC. <laughs> then you'll take the USB that I disconnected from the Xbox and plug that in, like that. Now I'll take the Super Nintendo controller. And that's right, Super Nintendo running on Xbox. Let's go to the first stage. And it's important to note, there is no discernible lag here. The controllers work beautifully. Just as they should. If it wasn't for running it on the Xbox and the obvious connection there, you wouldn't be able to tell that this is not the Super Nintendo original. It's just like playing the actual cartridge. And the controls, by the way, map beautifully. They're exactly what they should be. And to get back to the Xbox, press start and select together, and then press select, which is back for Xbox. All right, so that takes us back here again to the main menu. Um, next, let's show you something else that's pretty cool. Let's go to um, let's go to Coin Ops here. Let's select. Hmm, let's see, of all the consoles. How about Phoenix for the Atari 2600? Through Phoenix, we'll disconnect the Genesis, or the Super Nintendo cord, I should say. After I have these unscrewed. There we go. Now, 
How about playing an Atari 2600 game using an Atari 2600 CX40? Since this is also DB9, let's simply plug it into the adapter. Then plug it in and we should be able to play right away. One thing that we got to do first is simply use an Xbox controller to boot it because the Atari 2600 controller does not have a start button, obviously. Uh, no, I'm dying because I'm not playing. So I'm going to take the cord, plug it into the system, and now I should be able to play. And as you can see, I'm playing an Atari 2600 controller on the Xbox, emulating the Atari 2600. This is one of my favorite Atari 2600 games. This is Phoenix, released in 1982. A great classic shooter. Well, you get the point. Let's get out of that. Let's try something a little bit more advanced. How about going in and playing an actual arcade game? Let's go to M here. Let's do Marvel vs. Capcom. And the controller that we're going to use for this, not the Atari 2600 controller, because I don't think a fighting game would work great with one button. Let's try yet another adapter that Bruno sells. Now this one, this time, adapts use for this controller right here, which is, in case you can't tell, Cap Sega Saturn, original Sega Saturn six button controller, fantastic for fighting games. Now what we're going to do is take that, uh, take that adapter, plug that in, like this. All right. Come on. Then take the Saturn controller, plug it in. Mega Man here, why not? And Ryu. Ready. Battle of the Century. You get the point, right? So, let's get out of this. Whoops, I need to be... Saturn controller does not have a back button, so I can't exit it using a Saturn controller. Alright, so finally, let's show you an original Xbox game running in action. So let's see, Xbox is at the very end. 
how about Dead or Alive Ultimate? And the final controller I'll show in action is the Saturn's older brother, the Sega Genesis six button pad. So take the adapter itself, plug it in, and next plug it in to the USB connection. Next, take the Xbox controller, unplug that, and plug the now Sega Genesis six button pad into this adapter. All right, as soon as this ends. Now, I should say that um, the controller mappings work beautifully. You have the A, B, X, and Y buttons, and then you have your, your the uh, black and white, and then you'd have two shoulder buttons if there was if this was the Saturn controller, but you know. So yeah, that's that's how it works. And again, no lag. There is no lag with this whatsoever. All right, so let's go to uh, sparring here. And you'll see that there is virtually no lag. Let's choose my favorite character and have her fight her half-sister. Yeah. And do it at the island. Now, you'll notice the commands along the bottom of the, of the thing. As I move the controller around, you'll see that they instantaneously move. There is no lag. Now again, um, Bruno sells these controllers um, for $27.50 United States dollars or sells a deluxe model that has arcade terminals for an arcade stick if you're a hobbyist like that um, for $32.50, so a few dollars more. Um, these USB sticks um, are compatible with the Xbox like I'm showing you here or there is another version of the same thing that costs the same price that will work with PC, Mac, and even the PS3. The PS3 version um, works exactly the same as the Xbox version here. In fact, I have a PlayStation 3 version and you'll notice that it looks uh, completely identical to the one that's running on the Xbox down there. These, this little adapter, again, does not come with any cord to plug it into this PlayStation 3, but um, it will work. Now, just to show you guys, I'm going to quickly demo a PS3 game. So I'm going to turn off the Xbox and coin ops. Take the Xbox controller or power cord, plug it into the PlayStation 3. Now th that's the PS3 on. Let's change the input to HDMI, which is what the PlayStation 3 runs. There we go. Now, currently there is no controller connected, so let's fix that. Let's take the USB from the Xbox, plug it into the PlayStation 3, then take the PlayStation 3 adapter here, and um, what controller to use? What controller to use? Why not use the Saturn controller? Because the Saturn controller is an amazing controller. Plug that in. And as soon as that happens, I should be able to now just use this controller. And indeed, oops, I'm doing, telling it to do something. I don't want it to do anything. All right. Okay. So next, let's grab. Our PS3 game that I'm going to demo here is uh, Street Fighter Alpha or Street Fighter Super Street Fighter 4, I should say. Plug that in, and in a moment's time, we should be able to play Super Street Fighter 4 with a Saturn controller. I don't know what the controller mappings will be because I haven't changed them to map this controller. 
They might just be for standard Xbox controllers, which could be a problem. Or standard PlayStation 3 controllers, I should say. The standard normal controller. Alright. Hooray for Capcom. At least sometimes. Alright, let's go to the training mode. Doesn't matter, let's just pick 10. Alright, Saturn controller. And as you can see, the controls are incredibly fluid and this works just as it should. So yeah, um, in conclusion, the RetroPad adapters are incredibly good. Um, they are very, very well worth the price. Um, especially since that these things are custom made and they're not manufactured by any company. Um, you can pick these up at Bruno's site, which, um, you forgive me because I don't speak um, Portuguese, is Fas Iscas e Fumasa. Yes, I'll post a link in the, in the description box below. And, um, and yeah, this guy ships worldwide. This will work for any Xbox worldwide or any PlayStation 3 worldwide or PC. So if you have a PC and want to use classic controllers for emulators there, um, one of these adapters is perfect for you there too. Um, like I said, there's no lag and they are just work beautifully. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll try and post new videos up um, fairly soon. So anyway guys, um, thanks for watching this special edition and Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays.